Hey guys, welcome back. This is Redneck here again with another tutorial on spin tires, but it's a different kind of tutorial. And I'm excited. I've got 300 fucking subscribers. Thank you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here doing this. Alright, well, oh, I've got a couple requests, if you would, for this type of video. This is unusual. I don't think I've actually ever seen anybody do this. I'm sure Sid, Brute, Spun, you know, whoever the fuck they are, Thunderduck and all them know how to do this. But I'm sure that not very many people will tell you to do this. So I'm going to be the only one, I think, that know how to do this. And I'm assuming that you know your kind of way around stuff, so... But I'm going to go in, in a few details... I'm not going to go into very in-depth unless you guys give it a bunch of likes or something. But until then, I'm just going to give you a brief, tell you how to do it, blah, 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 blah. That way, you'll, it'll point you in the right direction. Okay. So, basically what you need to do, first of all, first of all, I need you to... Google search for JSGME. Actually, just go to uvi, uvi.co.uk. I'll leave that in the description. And you need to download JSGME. It's a mod enabler. And when you download it, you'll get, I think, un un unzip it with WinRAR, un you know, 7-zip, whatever the hell you want to use. It'll have five folders in there. Okay? And I'll show you what folders they are. Let me go to spin tires, open a new window. Alright, basically what you'll have when you download JSGME and put it in there, open it up, put it in there, you'll get this one, one, two, three, four, five, and it'll make you create a mod folder, which it automatically does, which is right there. Alright, with that being said, what you do is you basically, when you extract it, you put all of those folders into your spin tires root which the root is this one right here your main spin tires folder all right once you do that and you create a mod folder how you i'm going to teach you how to edit the mods so basically what we need to do open up steam go to spin tires go to the workshop which i'll do that again so that you guys can see it all right spin tires go to the workshop there's a vehicle that I want to do, so I'll go click on most recent. I want to click on this one right here. Go to... Alright, if you have guys have multiple games in Steam, that will you know, six numbers. Spin tires is 263-280. You gotta remember that. Go to that folder, alright? Basically, these are all the vehicles from the workshop. It's kind of like the government. We're only identified by our social security number. No name, nothing. You forget, you know, your birth date or whatever the fuck it is. As long as you remember your last four of your social, that's why a lot of applications or certifications or verifications, it's your last four of your social. That's the only way they know you. Basically, this is the car social security number. All right? And since I've already subscribed to this one just recently, like today, it should have the time which right now or the date which right now it's the 8th 9 8 2016 this video won't go up till tomorrow to be the 10th to be the 9th so what you'll do is you'll click on date modified it'll pull up the most recent one yes I did a 5 five o'clock this morning just like a little bit ago alright so basically what you want to do right click new folder put it on your desktop and I'm gonna call it you can call it whatever the hell you want I'm gonna call it 1997 Chevy K1500. All right. Basically, what you want to do: open this up, extract files, click on desktop, right here, or right here. This PC desktop, the only folder I got on this main desktop here. Click that folder, click OK. Yes to all. Alright, basically it's already in there. Alright, here's that mod. 
what you'll want to do in order for if once you put it if you put an enabler just like this it will not work what you have to do go new folder then media that's it now it don't matter what order you put it in put all these damn folders in the media every last one of them into media an easy way to tell if it's the right truck if you're confused go to billboards trucks there's the truck right there alright this way you can go to classes trucks there's the XML document right click you gotta have notepad plus plus I'll put a link to that also in the description edit with notepad plus plus this right here is all the vehicles information right here basically if you want to change the torque it's got 125,000 torque it's pretty dang slow we'll bump it up to 600,000 torque control s save it that's simple high gear gears you got you can add gears you can take away the gears and the best way to do the gears is do it like 2 4 6 8 10 1 3 5 7 9 something like that unless you unless you're like a gearhead or something like that you know what you're doing fuck with the gears you know do something you want to do All right, basically that's how that's done. And you know, let's see what else can they get? What else do they give us with this thing? You can add the winch sockets. Basically, a winch socket is whenever you get fall over and you click advanced, and it has little white dots. That's what these are. And then uh, I'm not sure how to tell if it's middle, front, back, or whatever, but this atom. You'll know that this one comes with three. You add another one. Click advanced. It'll show up. You know where you got to put it at. X is up and down. Or X is side to side. Uh, y is up and down. It goes X, Y, Z. So it's X to the Y. And then Z, I believe, is front to back or side to side. That's how you do that. And, and you can change your headlight color, too. If you know how, if you, uh, green is right here. Uh, you'll have to kind of look this up and stuff like that. If you want me to do a video on all this in depth, give this video a like. Like the hell out of it. Alright. And, I'll do other stuff if you guys give this shit a shit ton of likes and comments. Let me know that you guys fucking want another video in depth. I will spend an, an entire like 30 minutes because that's how long it would really literally take me to do this. I'll get everything set up and it'll take me about 30 minutes to do the video, if not less. It's actually really simple. I want to do it right now, but I don't, I, I don't want to. Okay, so that's the vehicle's XML. It's already saved. Click X. Go back. There's the wheels. Open up wheels. Alright, edit with notepad. It's an XML. Alright, this is all your stuff right here. Alright. Right now, it's going to drive normal. Okay? Normally, friction numeric and sub sub substance friction numeric, back in the day, I'd switch that 4.0, this to 4.0. That would make it basically catwalk up a damn hill. So I'm just gonna leave that the same, leave that like it is. See how it runs. You know, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. But uh, yeah, that's basically how it's done. And then long, make sure it's in media. Okay. Basically, what we'll do now is we will open up spin tires since I have it in a separate window. Shrink it down. Go over here find my mod folder okay close out of this put that right here well we can minimize this or just exit out of this up here open that up goes to media folder perfect <coughs> I got it right here copy the mods boom all right there she be. 
All right. That's that's how you do it, guys. Start up your you start up your enabler. Okay. These are all the vehicles I've enabled right now. What I'll do is I'll go ahead and disable them all. All right. 1979, 1997 Chevy K1500. You'll enable that. It's best to do this after the game's running. Or, no, before the game runs, enable that. Okay? Start up the game. Pick that truck from the workshop. Or from, from the vehicle selection. And when you get into the map, go to the garage. Since this is enabled, rescue to the garage. You know, back out of the garage, drive around a little bit, hit F1, go over, scroll over to the map, or to the workshop, or the garage. Rescue this vehicle to the garage. Once you get it rescued, all your modifications will be there. You will, if you set it just right, they'll be able to just drive around, open around, you can fucking catwalk past them. Alright, so that's basically how to... Edit the mods in the workshop. If you guys like this video, if you guys want to see more like this video, be sure to leave this video a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. And as always, this is Redneck. And I'm out.